Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we are gonna be doing is uh, showing you a cool little journaling utility. This right here is the GitHub page for Linked. This is cross-platform, so regardless of your operating system, there is going to be an installation option. Right here under the description says, forget less by daily journaling when note-taking meets a calendar. And then of course we have a little link here to use linked.com, which is their website with a uh, more new user-friendly approach to listing all the features and whatnot. Before we dive too far into the features, let's go ahead and install this. So what I'm gonna do is click on, you can download linked here for free. And here is the latest release. We can see that there are a whole bunch of different platforms. We have dev packages, exe for Windows, RPM for Fedora, and app images, Mac, whatever you're running, you can run this. This is obviously Ubuntu. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the Debian file. Let's give that a quick save. Okay, it's already done. So we should be able to open it, open it up with software install. Okay, I had to double check there. It said the license here is proprietary, but the actual license is the GNU general public license. So just confirming it is for sure open source. So let's go ahead and give this a quick install. And there we go. So let's see if it's over here. Let's search up linked. And there we are. Let's give this little application an open. Here we are. It's very simple. It doesn't have too many features at the moment, but what it, they say it does, it does very well. So here I could just begin typing if I would like to under that specific date, or what I could do is set up a to-do list. So if you wanted just a really simple utility to wake up every day, make a quick little to-do list, you can do that through here. For example, item one, item two, item three, and then as you go through your day, you could check these off. Now it does seem like it supports markdown. So if I wanted to add a heading, for example, I could say daily goals, and then from there, I can go ahead and switch to a list here and then type out important thing, which is my important goal. And then of course there is a code support. So if I needed to uh, put in a quick command like this, I could do that as well. And I could do a lot more. I could click out of here or just spam enter a couple times to get out of there. You can add a lot of information and then you can see if I switch to another date, obviously I just installed this. I don't have any other information on any of these other dates. But if I go to back to Saturday, which is today, or at least today as of recording it, you can see what I went ahead and threw in there. I can also skip it week by week if I would like to. So this is week eight, and this is actually week eight of the entire year. So if you're familiar with the uh, going by week, the 52 weeks of the year, that's an easy way to go about it. Up here, if I go to links, we have about settings and quit. If I open up settings here real quick, we have a light and dark mode. Dark is the default, but you could switch it to light if you would like to. We have the location for the data path. So if you did kind of want to make data sync, uh, theoretically, you could put this in a, like a synced Nextcloud folder or synced OneDrive, Google Drive, whatever you happen to be using, you could drop that there. And then we have the update frequency databases, not too many settings, but ju just enough where it's helpful. So if I go back here, this is what it looks like as the light theme, I'm not, too much of a fan. Edit, simple edit stuff for whatever text you're typing under view, you could view today, you can search. So for example, if I was a couple weeks out, let's say I was working on the 12th, on the 10th week in March, I could go to view, search, and I needed to remember what that important goal was. There we go, important thing right there. So now I am on that day. Additionally, if I go back up to view, we have simple controls such as previous day, next day, uh, you're probably not gonna open up this menu to do this, but it's cool because you can see all the different hotkeys that you have available to go ahead and navigate. So control P and N, for example. So if I go control P, that's gonna move back. N is gonna move forward. So if you're keyboard centric, you can, uh, and you like this application, you could get familiar with the hotkeys. And then under help, we have documentation, which will just open up their website here. And we have the avail availability to check for updates. So super simple little application. Uh, it's not going to end here. Hopefully if we go over to the actual GitHub page for this and scroll down, we can see some of the supported features or the current features, which we basically covered all of these. The only thing I really didn't say is as multi-language support, and there's not really any limits of how much data and text you could put in a specific day coming soon. This is what is going to be cool. 
Uh, link days together with references. That would be a big deal. Uh, monthly overview is next. So in a coming update, these two features will be enabled. And then eventually you'll be able to rate your days, sync across devices other than the little potential theoretical uh, workaround that I talked about. Right here, phone support. If they actually launched a uh, native application for iOS, Android for this thing and have it all linked together, uh, that would be a big deal. That would be awesome. This is a nice little utility. And they could probably go ahead and make some money for adding like file uploads and integrations, things like that. But that's just me thinking aloud. So I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you um, found this helpful or useful in some way or another. Uh, everything I talked about, including this GitHub page and their website here will be linked down below. So with all of that, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. If you absolutely hated this video, go ahead and give it a dislike. Um, yeah. Bye.